So today we're going to do my May favorites. There really aren't that many this month, but I do have a few that I've really been loving. Uh, I think that a couple might be repeats that have been in my favorites before, but I'm kind of revisiting, re-falling in love. So we're just gonna jump in. I'm gonna start with the newest thing to my collection. This was sent to me, guys, G-U-I-Z-E, face effects. I'll try and leave it linked down below, but they have different highlighter palettes. I believe they're a newer company, but this one is the Moonlight one. So it's made for fair skin. This just blends out so smooth, so good. This highlight is really pretty. I'll swatch them for you real quick. Um, I haven't really used the bronzer because it does look a little oranger than I normally like, but the contour shade right here is just my jam. That's the one downfall is it is super powdery. I put a little too much bronzer on my nose. I'm going to try and so I really like the contour shade. I just feel like it's really hard to go overboard with it. And that's really good for me because I am I have a heavy hand when it comes to contouring. And I just love how easy it is. I don't feel like it overpowers me. Here's the matte highlight, the contour, the bronzer, and the shimmery highlight. I didn't, I didn't really expect much. I don't know. They just reached out to me. They're like, can we send this to you? We are, I believe they are. Yeah, they're cruelty free. So I just really, really like this. I've been using it for the past couple weeks and I just have fallen in love with it. I didn't use it today because I filmed a video testing out a bunch of my old favorite makeup products to see if I still love them. Uh, but this guy, you can see there's makeup all over it. It's a bit of my makeup bag. I just love it. It's got a really nice neutral tone, so it's not super, super cool tone, but it's cool toned enough for me. Um, I've been really liking kind of mid-tone, not too warm, not too cool bronzers. I used to be all about just the super cool toned ones, um, but they would look a little ashy on me. This one just, it just, I really like it. I really, really like it. It just blends. It's nice. It's good. I think this palette's like $40, which is kind of a lot, but I just really like it. Again, it does have a lot of kick up. So it does really, when you tap your brush in, there is a lot of powder, but that's literally the only negative thing I can say about it. And I'm totally cool with it. Okay. So this is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks, the Instatint um, Tinted Brow Gel with microfibers. So it's just in this little packaging. I got this from BoxyCharm. It's got this tiny, little tiny brush. I just love this. I have it on my brows today and I just feel like it really, it makes them look more voluminous. It isn't the best for keeping your brows in place. So I usually use it in combination with either the Anastasia brow gel or the ColourPop brow gel. And I feel like that combination is just great because I feel like this really helps the way my brows look. Um, you don't get a lot of product out on the brush. I think that might be part of it is like, it's a very go in once for each brow. So I feel like it's, you won't get like that goopy brow thing, but you also won't get enough product on your brow to really hold it in place. But I do think this is more of like a, just a tint. It's a brow gel, but I don't think this is really designed to keep your brows 100% in place. I feel like it keeps them like, we'll say floof, floof the, inner part of my brow. I feel like it does keep that in place, but I have these crazy long brow hairs that like no matter what I do, um, unless I like completely trim them because the end of my brow goes pretty thin. It just, they just want to be crazy. So I have to use a different brow gel to really hold it in place, but I really like this brow gel. I will probably repurchase this once it's done and I don't repurchase a lot of things. So I always want to try something new, but I just, I really, really am enjoying this brow gel favorites. I can't remember if I put it in my favorites or I forgot to put it in my favorites, but it was one or the other. And this is the ColourPop Luster Dust in Strobe Globe. I did pop a little bit on given it's on top of Becca, Opal, and Moonstone, but we're just going to swatch it anyway, because if some of you are new, welcome. So this is what it looks like dry. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Really nice and reflective. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you, I mean, you can see my cheek, but are you ready? I know that I'm a little obsessed and I shouldn't be talking about this product again, but you guys, are you, this is literally the most beautiful highlighter almost ever. Look at that. Look at that. That's the difference that just spritzing your brush makes. So if you have any loose powder highlights and you're like, I don't know. It's okay. I feel like by spritzing your brush, it, first of all, you get less of a mess because it sticks to your brush. It also makes it much more metallic. So if you like a pop and highlight like I do, I would definitely recommend that. Even if you don't love a pop and highlight, you could still wet your brush to kind of maintain the mess that could happen, but just really blend it out or just use the tiniest, tiniest bit of product on your brush and then blend it. So let's just pile it on. Oh, I was like, I'm not going to put more highlighter on, but I already have this one on, so it's okay. But do you see, do you see? 
I know that I'm not normal in the amount of highlight that I like, but if you like a pop and highlight, honestly, it reminds me a lot of the Anastasia and Omrizi highlighter, but definitely obviously more, much more affordable. I think these are, six, are they $6? I think they're six bucks. I'm obsessed. This guy is a new one to my collection. This was in my Wet n Wild haul. This is the Wet n Wild gel lip liner in Lay Down the Mauves. I'm wearing it today given I have my lipstick over it so you can't really see it. But I just love the tone of this. I love eyeliners and lip liners that um, twist up, that are retractable, that you don't have to sharpen. If ColourPop lip liners were twist up, I would love them even more. I love ColourPop lip liners and I'm sure you guys realize that I've used them more than anything, but I'm obsessed with this right now. So I still have highlighter on my hand, but I just love the tone of this. They are so soft. I've only really used this one, but I've used it multiple times and reached for it. I think I love the color. I just, I like the way it makes my lips look. The last time I used this, I went a little overboard and went like back in. Let's do it. Let's look how much fuller my bottom lip already looks just by putting that um, darker shade. I always overline a little bit right here because this lip um, goes straight and this lip bows out. So I will overline it a little, but you can kind of see it definitely made a difference in the shape of my lips. It's a really nice color for me, but I really like it. I really, I really, I really, it's super affordable. This was like, what, $3? I don't know, but it's good. I love it. I'm going to talk about this. You can see how love this is. We all know how much I love the Stila Glitter and Glow shadows. This one is in Diamond Dust. I feel like this is, I know this has been in a favorites before, but I have really been liking using this guy to just pop a little bit of glitter on my like inner corner right here. Maybe I'll pop a little on. Why don't we just do it? I can show you how easy this is to just add a little bit of something. Just a little bit of glitter on your inner corner. I usually just do it on the bottom, but you can do it up here. Obviously you can put this anywhere. I feel like this is just the best glitter product out there. But this lives in my makeup bag because this is my number one go-to. Again, this is Diamond Dust. These are $24 each, but they are so worth it. There are so many new shades that I really want to try. I'm having a hard time justifying buying them because I really don't need them, but they are so beautiful. And I just, I don't regret purchasing any of them, even though I definitely use this one the most. Um, Kit Karma's beautiful, Smoky Storm is beautiful. I really love all of them. <laughs> like favorite beauty product almost ever. But hopefully you can see it just added like, of course, like I actually usually go a little ham, put a lot of glitter under there. That's just like a tiny touch of glitter. I hope you're gonna be able to see it. Maybe I should come a little closer. We're getting up close. Now you can see, there you go. It's just a little bit, it's a little something. So I've just been really liking doing that. You love how I'm like, it's just a little something. Let's add a buttload more. Sorry, that's kind of a repeat because I know it's been in my favorites before, but I've used it so much this last month again and been use wearing it just like this that I just wanted to include it. This guy I've also been using every single day. This is the Revolution Pro Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This guy absorbs so fast. I just feel like it really hydrates my under eyes. I've even been using it kind of as a eye cream at night sometimes because I just feel like it just goes on like a lotion and it's just so hydrating given this is like the tiniest too, but you really just need the smallest amount. And this is a super affordable product. I really hope that the Revolution Pro range comes to the US because it's just so good. Um, as right now you have to order on revolutionbeauty.com. I've been loving so many of the products from the Revolution Pro range that I just, yes. But this is, this is one that I really, 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 really love. And I feel like it just keeps my under eyes nice and hydrated. Um, I feel like it's gotta be hypoallergenic. It's just, it's so good. I feel like my under eyes are kind of sensitive and I'm always really wary about what I put on my face. I think that's why I'm having such a hard time like coming up with a new skincare routine. Cause I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, but I really like this. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Revolution, um, Revolution Beauty, Makeup Revolution, Revolution Beauty is now certified as cruelty free. I probably mentioned that before, but like all of their products are certified. It says on there by PETA now, um, which is a great thing. Like they've always been cruelty free, but like to be certified, I feel like that just kind of solidifies their cruelty free mark and I love that. Okay, I'm gonna include this. Obviously try and include things that I've really used a bunch, but I feel like I've used this at least five times. I feel like using something at least five times I can include it. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. I have talked to you guys a little bit, like I think in almost every tutorial, where I'm just like not really happy with the look. Once I have liner and lashes on, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with it. But I did a look with this palette the other day. I didn't film it. I did it before I went to work and I just really loved it. Even one of my friends came in, they're like, because I always have a lot of makeup on. I always do my makeup. 
every day. I wear lashes almost every single day, especially lately. I just want to be able to feel, they help me feel good about myself. I know that's dumb. I know I don't need that, but like it helps me put my best face forward. Um, I just feel like when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, now people are so used to it. They're like, you look tired, you look sad. But anyway, so I like to put a little effort into my makeup and I felt like the day that I wore this and I wore, let me see, I put this, I use this as my transition shade, so I just went for it. So this guy, and then I think I used this one. So I kind of mixed those for my transition shade. I put this in my crease, I put this in my crease, and then I put a little bit of this dark brown on the outer corner. And then I put the yellow on the lid and I took the eye topper, the yellow eye topper, and just like tapped it on top. And I was just like feeling it. It sounds so simple. I'll film that for you guys if you want. I, I did film a tutorial with this palette already and that's coming soon. But if you want another look, I'm totally down because I'm obsessed with this palette. So it's just so pigmented, so beautiful. So many beautiful shades. I love that you can get a really bright look, but there's definitely enough shades in here to create a everyday look. Like look at this nice warm brown. There's the nice dark brown like you have. Oh, and this one, I have to mention Spirit. Spirit is this guy right here, this white. It's got kind of a purpley pink duochrome. I love wearing that in my inner corner. It's just so, it doesn't look it like when you like just in that little swatch, but it's so, pigmented and it just it really shows up in your inner corner i feel like that's a problem i have like when i put something in my inner corner it's never bright enough for me i love like a really intense bright inner corner so i just love love that shade um i'm about to film a haul on bh cosmetics so i'm going to swatch a bunch more of these in that so i'm not going to bore you guys and swatch all of those but just trust me it's a really beautiful palette and i will try and leave the BH Cosmetics haul with that in it, link down below. If not, please subscribe so you can catch that video. I love how I went from this, there's not a lot of things, and all the time I was like, wait, I wanted to include this, I want to include this. So now I have a decent round, decent amount of products. So let me know down below what your favorite products are for the past month, what you've really been loving. Let me know what I need to check out. Um, let me know if you love any of these products too. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. I love you guys so much. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like favorites videos so I know to keep doing them. I haven't been doing them every single month anymore, but let me know if you, I kind of just want to do them when I have enough products to talk about. Because again, I'm a creature of habit and I use the same stuff a lot of the time. So just let me know if you still like favorites videos. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Look how cute they are. They're both sitting by the window. Angels. I know I always say this, but I really don't think, hold on, cat hair. Um, I really, excuse me, Dermat like dermatologically, it's always hard for me to say that, Dermat dermatologically tested. I have a cat hair or something in my eye right now, so please don't mind my old. I'm, I might be winking at you. I might just have a cat hair. Who knows? If I tone it, Tanya, what is wrong with me? Ugh. When I like take the, what am I thinking of? When I floof, I have makeup under my nails. They're already tragic. This is the gel lip crayon, lip gel liner, gel lip liner, water works. I feel like it just, I'm putting it back in the box for some weird reason. I just ate lipstick. Um, but, geez, Louise, this 